Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. So for that input is ID, ID, type, name. Okay. Is it clear Mohini? Yep. Now, uh, now, as I was mentioning, as it is a Firefox, okay, as it is a Firefox, we were using Firebug. Not only Firebug, Firebug there are some other, uh, you know, add-ins available for Firefox, but we prefer Firebug. Okay, so similarly, let me open Internet Explorer. Let me open uh, Google.com. Yeah, see here. Now let me try to you know. Where is this? This must have somewhere. Yeah, can you see here? There was uh, no. I go here and F2, F2 will develop a tools. Okay, and see here I'm using this cursor, this this particular thing, and see here I'm clicking on this. I'm selecting this particular thing. So now I can you can see this input name I Q. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me go here. Let me sign out here. Yeah, see here uh, what I'm doing here. Go to this tools. Okay. In latest version of Internet Explorer, you can find something called FTable Developer Tools. Okay. Everyone can see this. In latest version of Internet Explorer, you can find uh, this FTable Developer Tools. Open that. Okay, you will get this particular uh, you know, screen. In this screen, there is uh, some cursor button. Click on the cursor button and uh, you know, click on the object that we wanted to find. Say I am selecting username. You can see here. Again, input, name, ID, spell check. Okay, the related uh, uh, you know, properties here. Okay, similarly, go here and select this. It is showing the properties of password. Similarly, sign on. Can you see this? So, what I am saying here, if you want to use Internet Explorer while developing your script, okay, here also you can find the properties. That is what I mean, okay. So, in Firefox, you have something called Firebug, okay. If you are using Internet Explorer, you have something called IE Developers. Okay, is it clear? Yeah, in previous versions, uh, yeah, I don't uh, know. I, I think so. You can uh, download some add-ons. Okay. It's not. Uh, we don't call it as a Selenium series. Huh? Okay, this we don't call it as a Firefox. Okay, this we call it as a Firebug. 
this is a adder which is for just to recognize the objects and its properties okay we had to discuss so many things in uh, selenium okay this is not a selenium this is a firework which is a adder which helps us to find out the properties yeah amrita as i said i have to install you know I, as i said we have to install this adder okay you don't find that you need to install that and when this is there you can download that uh, you know uh, this add on uh, in uh, you no know, google you can download that okay yeah any other questions here so as i said if it is internet explorer this is the process that we can follow here okay and similarly if it is a google chrome and see here uh, here let me open google yeah so if you are using this title here okay there is something called inspect element okay see here it is it will help you to you know it will help you to identify the objects here okay so let me go with amazon now and see here i'm right clicking here i'm right clicking here i'm saying inspect element so which will help us to identify the properties of that object okay so that is what i mean okay in google chrome this we call it as chrome developer okay this will help us to identify the objects okay yeah so far any questions here yeah ramona is asking one good question when we when we are given only the user story if we don't have the application how do we find the object and properties that's a good question ramona yeah you can uh, you know uh, find the properties from the developer okay you can ask the developer to share his uh, design document or whatever the you know related document that he has uh so that uh, you know you can uh, get the properties from his uh, design document okay you can use those properties in uh, in your script yeah okay if you have a uh, you know ready made application you can do like this otherwise if you have a situation something like that you can uh, you know get the properties from the developer okay without that suppose even developer is also do uh, did not develop the script in that case you know it cannot be possible okay yes duty we are learning basics here yeah. any questions from anyone a uh, duty where exactly you are getting confused and can you post your question to everyone so that everyone can see your questions uh, this is the request for everyone don't post your questions personally to me okay if you have any question okay you can uh, post that question to everyone so that everyone can see your question if you have something else maybe you can uh, send it privately yeah. where exactly you are getting confused uh, judy the kernel may be you know 5 uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, we have to see this syllabus here now actually we have been discussing this okay yeah everyone can observe here how to identify elements in web page using selenium just now we discussed that and tools to identify the elements this firebug google chrome uh, you know chrome developer uh, ie developer okay so we discussed about firebug we discussed about ie developer we discussed about google, google chrome okay so apart from this we have something uh, you know some more tools but uh, we uh, you know we use these things okay and then now as i said in selenium we use you know the properties like id name link text export css okay these are called as locators i can i can say these are called as locators by using any one of this in selenium we will try to recognize the object okay so 
now let me show for example for example let me show let me go to this firefox let me go to this uh, selenium ide now let me record uh, something here see here I don't want to share my password. That's the reason I'm just entering some data, some dummy data here. Now see here. Let me stop the recording. Now can you all observe here? There is something called ID equal to this. I think uh, no. Can you observe this? ID is password. I don't think so. This has recorded this. Let me special, let me record one more time. I'm deleting this. I'm recording for one more time. Okay. Let me record. Let me enter something here. I don't think so. It is recording this particular step. Why so? Let me write it down. I'm writing it down. Don't worry. Everyone observe here. So when I record the script, it has been recorded something like this. Okay. So if you closely observe this section, target section, if you closely observe here, here of course here I have used ID equal to email, but these are the two things which has been recorded by Selenium ID. ID equal to password, ID equal to sign in. So basically, you know, Selenium will recognize, will use this ID to recognize this password field. Okay. How do we know? If you click on this find button. Can you observe that find this password is getting highlighted? Okay. Similarly, here when I select this, when I try to highlight, just try to observe this sign in. There is uh, no a green color border is getting appear here. Okay. And then similarly, if I select this, can you observe that this username is getting highlighted? So. Sirisha actually if you close the other this, I'm right clicking on here. I'm saying inspect element with firewall. And here I'm using this ID. Of course, when you see here it is showing as username. It is showing as username, but when you closely look into the properties, ID is email. Okay. We have to care. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com.
Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.